Hi. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Okay, if you're not able to speak on the microphone, you can say good evening on the chat. Okay, that's great. That's okay. Good evening, good evening. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Nobody said good evening on the chat yet. All right. Now I see. Jocelyn only. Good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Hi. Good evening. Okay. Two more. Two more. David. Hi. Joanna. Good evening. Miguel. Good evening. Elvin, good evening. Okay, Brian, good evening. All right. Well, today is what day is today? Good evening, Hector. Mm -hmm. Today is. Anybody? Monday, November. Exactly, Monday, November 20th of 2023. Or the 20th of November, right? Good. All right, we're going to do our session number six. This is our second week. Every week has five days, so we got five sessions every week, so this is the class number six right okay we always do the reminders to have a good let's say ambience a good environment i will develop learning process it's important to take into consideration the attendance the time that you must stay in the session and the times I call out on your name for the attendance. You must be present. You must have cameras, microphone, okay, chat, which are really important. Okay. All right, somebody else writing on the chat. Good evening, Natalia. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. I hope you already have this manual. It's necessary. We need it in the class. Okay, we're gonna get one minute just to get the attendance. Give me a second. All right, let me see, let me see. Um, okay, Anna Cristina. No here. Brian. Here. David. Debra. Good evening. Good evening. Doris. Mm 
Doris Elizabeth. Not here. Okay, Elvin. Present, Miss. Gracia. Present, Miss. Hector. Imelda. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Ivan. Good evening, present teacher. Good evening, Joanna. Present. Hi, Jocelyn. Present. Hello. Well, Karen says she won't be able to be here because she, her family got an accident. Kevin. Hmm, so weird. Kevin never connects. Laura? Present teacher. Hi. Hi. Maria Irma? Miguel Angel? Present teacher. Hello, Nelson? Nelson, Nelson? Paula Natalia? Present teacher. Ricardo. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Wilmer. Present teacher. All right, done. Ready. Ready to start rock and rolling. <laughs> okay, how about your weekend? How was your weekend? What did you do? Anything different? Good news? Relaxing, good time. Did you watch the Miss Universe final? <laughs> no, <laughs> nothing. All right. Nothing interesting happened over the weekend. Well, we are about to start the second unit, unit two on the manual and on the platform. You should have it already. So, let me see, vamos a buscar el menú. Let me just get the right unit because I have it right here, but I'm looking for the unit two. And the unit two is going to be about, any idea? ¿Alguien tiene alguna idea? Ya chequeó el, el manual. Unit two? Nobody. Uh-huh. No one. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me why. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. We are waiting. Any idea? No? That one? On the chat, say something about the unit two. Let's see if you found it already. No, 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 no. Okay. Para los que no lo han encontrado, I'm going to share. Let's see, let's see. Take a look. Uh -huh. Nice. So let me the title and the introductory questions. 
what can you say about the unit two? Mm -hmm. You finished the platform, the unit one. Yes? Wait a second. All right, just needed to connect the computer. Uh huh. Socializing. Socializing is the title of the unit too. So for everybody, it should be a common concept, I guess, to socialize. So on this unit, you'll be able to exchange information about the company's expertise, industrial classification, and where it operates. All right. So do you often as oh sorry, do you often attend seminars? Is it easy for you to socialize at those events? How do you usually break the ice? Make people feel more friendly? Are friendlier to talk to each other. So this is what we're gonna be addressing throughout this unit. So cuando van a seminars, capacitaciones, seminarios, is it easy for you to socialize? Se les hace fácil socializar en este tipo de eventos with people from other companies probably, but in the same area. And how do you usually break the ice? So how do you make people feel confident to talk to you, to talk to each other? So these are the uh, main objectives for this lesson. So as I was mentioning at the beginning, exchange information about the company's expertise. ¿En qué son expertos en su empresa? Industrial classification and where it operates. So what type of business it is and donde operan, right? So the headquarters and the branches. So headquarters are like the main offices, the main, the main, uh, like, offices of the company and the branches are like subdivisions or and then let's say part of this company but in another area so let me just stop sharing this and let me share the presentation all right we were about to say something regarding the manual that everybody should have the manual so that you can get familiar and of course, exchange vocabulary about the company's expertise in the short classification and where it operates. That's going to be practically the objective for this lesson. So we're going to get started for a task. So talk about the company that you work for. Example, I work for a company that produces shoes. I work for a company that manufactures I don't know, wine. <laughs> I work for a company that sells lights. I work for a company that produces, manufactures, sells, imports, exports. So tell me. Mm -hmm. Vaya, tengan escrito como para saber qué compartir, right? Para qué tipo de compañía trabaja. So I work for a company that imports, exports, produces, exchange, spends, analyze, checks, provides this type of services, right? Because sometimes the companies not necessarily produce something, but they provide some services as well, right? Ya lo tienen? You got it? Ready? Thumbs up? Yes? All right. Si quieren, pueden escribirlo en el chat. Like this type of example. Compartiendo para el tipo de compañía que trabajan y que a qué se dedican. I mean, in the company, right? I work for a company that manufactures juice 
that produces soda. Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready, ready? Voy a dejar de compartir y ya lo deben de tener ready. Let me see. Hold on. Am I ready to participate? Yes, I work for a company that provides financial services. All right. I work for a company that builds roads. Oh, wow. That's great. Okay. Okay. So now you're just going to tell us what type of company you work for. Uh -huh. I work for a financial company that provides credit cards and credits. For a company, I no utilizamos who, sino for a company that. Porque el who es para persona. Por ejemplo, I work with a person who gives financial support, for example. But in this case, for a company that. Yes. Nice. I work for a company that is dedicated to medical and aesthetic services. Nice. And cosmetic services as well, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Bye. Estamos ready para participar. Justamente lo que han escrito en el chat es que van a tener que decir, okay? A ver. There are some sounds. It was the winner. I'm going to get that Karen because she's not here. Okay. Jocelyn. Yes, Jocelyn. Hola, hi. <laughs> I work for a company that. I work for a company that provides financial services. Nice, excellent. Okay. Let's go on. Ricardo. I work for the same company. I feel like. <laughs> Ricardo. De hecho, sí es la misma compañía. Ajá, uh -huh. but your definition. I work, I work for a company that provides financial service. Financial so, company, correct. The same one. I see. I am. Uh, I work for. I work for. Uh, as a treasurer. Uh huh. As a treasurer. A treasurer. Right. Uh, for the same company. <laughs> okay. Here, many people work for the same company. Kevin is not here, right? Anyways, now we'll get that removed. 
All right. Laura Berenice. Hello. Hi. Eh, bueno, es la... Eh, permítame, permítame. Hola, ya vine. Que <risa> sabía un poquito de ruido. Este, ah, bueno, yo trabajo siempre también acá. Uh -huh. eh, sería prácticamente lo mismo. Sería I work in company the province financial service and health associate. Ayudan a los asociados. Yeah, associates. In health associate. All right. So I work for a company that provides financial services and helps associate. All right. Sí. sí. <laughs> In English, Laura. <laughs> yes. Nice. Okay. <laughs> nice. Imelda. Oh, I think it's Imelda, yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, my work for finances provide credit card in credit. Okay, so I you work for a company that provides credit cards and credits. Yes. Okay, so you work for a CACO too. Or no? What's the name of your company? Uh, ANC. Ah, okay. ANC. All right, nice. Let's go with the next one. Pablo Natalia Mendoza. Good night, teacher. Hey. Um, I work for a company um, that's, that's a day, uh, dedicated uh, to medical and adjusted service. Okay, nice. Very good. <laughs> Hector. Hi, teacher. Hi. Lo mismo de los demás compañeros. <laughs> I told you many people dedicate to the financial services here. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. I work for a saving and credit financial company. I work as a accounting supervisor. All right. Nice. Very okay. good. No problem. Elvin. Hello, Miss. Okay. I work. Uh, I work for a house commercial company. Okay, so this you work for a company that sells electronics, furniture. Yes. All right. Complete. Where in San Salvador? Yes. Okay. We're gonna make business on the Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the Black Friday. Okay, nice. Next person, Brian. Um, I work for a company that sells technology. Mm -hmm. Nice. Great. Ah, oh, my dog. So disobedient. <laughs> okay. Next one. Mm. Wendy. I work for a company that serves. It is a company that has a line of restaurants located in the urban area. The urban yeah. area. Nice.
Irma, Maria Irma, ya sé eso. No tenemos a María Irma. Ajá. No. No way. Okay. We're gonna remove her in way. Uh -huh. I work for a company that manufactures clothes and also I have a mini e-commerce in which I bake desserts that uh -huh. is called desserts. True. A mini business. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. It's true. It's true. Okay, next one. Gracias. Hi, good evening. Hey, good evening. I work for an agricultural company. That provides or sells? Yes. Mm -hmm. Provides and sells? Um... I provide and sells. Okay, agricultural products? Yes. What do you say, hortalitas? Vegetables. Vegetables and fruits. All right. And they also provide technical support. Yes. All right. Bringing all the, what do you say, cadena? Chain. Bueno, the chain productive because we get to the productor the seeds mm -hmm. and and we can le apoyamos en la comercialización con un mercado formal okay you provide support in the formal market yes mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm fighting against my dog which is very disobedient Okay. Joanna. Okay, teacher. I work for a financial company that provides credit and also work for personal saving. Oh, nice. A caco. Sí, la misma. <laughs> really? Es que tengo medio a caco. <laughs> All the companies, employees. Todavía um, falta, todavía falta. <laughs> really? ¿Cuántos son? Um, How many? Como unos ocho, quizás. Really? Muy uh -huh. bien. No, bueno, no, bueno, que no puede a salir la hora. Ana Cristina no está, ya, ya se incorporó. Well, let's remove anyways. Mm, so we're going to delete her <laughs> this time. Mm-hmm. Jocelyn ya había pasado, ¿verdad? Yes, did you? Yes. yes. No la había borrado tampoco. Sorry. Nelson. Good evening. Hey, good evening. I work for a company that international service or call center. Ah, oh, that provides international services for call centers. All right. Great. Okay. Nice. 
customer service then for your call center. Ivan. Mm -hmm. I think there was a word for a banking institution. Nice. See. Me and participated already. Mm -hmm. I work for a company that will rot. That? Of the build that roads. Build roads. All road. right. Nice. True. Mm -hmm. Real work. <laughs> Almost the last one. Hi. Uh, I work for an automation company. Uh, PLC configuration drive programming control boards. Mm, interesting. We're a technology company, programming maybe. Debra. Hi, Debra. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, I work for a financing company that provides credit cards and credits. All right, nice, interesting. And the last person? <laughs> Just to be the winner. <laughs> okay. So, at least I'll use the right crowd. And she is not here. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'll remove her anyways. Okay. Oh my god, wait a second. Yes. Okay, let's continue. So after you sharing the type of company that you work for. Okay, let's go on. And take turns discussing this question. Use your microphone to express your answers. All right, in this case, we're going to discuss first with our partners, and then we're going to take turns on the main session so that we can express to the whole audience. So the first question says, how do you describe your company to others? Si usted le, le tiene que hablar de su empresa a otras personas, ¿cómo se la describe? Si tiene que hacer en inglés, obviously, not in Spanish. Okay, <laughs> the company that I work for is blah, 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 blah. It's big, it's small, it is located in San Miguel, it has this department, there are many employees, we do this, we do that, we do this service. Can you explain the area of expertise of your company? Podrían explicar como el área de experticia de su empresa? And how do you communicate to employees of other companies? ¿Y cómo hace para comunicarse con empleados de otras empresas? ¿De qué forma usted se expresa de su empresa? ¿O qué manera se comunica con ellos? Sobre todo si son en la misma área como para interactuar o compartir experiencias, right? So this is one of the activities that I'm going to ask you. Practically, in simple words, es hablar de su company o cómo hace usted para describir la empresa a la que usted pertenece y a lo que se dedican y qué tan expertos son en eso. Ok. Vamos a hacer small groups. Igual le voy a compartirle la mira para que estén como más tranquilos y puedan seguir el examen. All right, let's go.
la captura. Yeah, how do you describe your company? Como que vamos a responder entonces cada una de las, de las interrogantes, así. Sí. Yeah. Quiero ver el grupo. Ah, ¿Qué quiere escribir la, la, la compañía? Sí. Ah, no sé si he visto lo del grupo. La imagen, lo que dice de company. I work for. Vamos a ver. Le damos respuesta a las interrogantes primero y luego lo socializamos. Y si no es una forma generalizada. Others, uh, we communicate with the others, co worker with emails and, and calls. And I think that's all. Okay. Ahorita yo estoy preparando lo que diría. No sé si alguien más ya. Tiene algo para que pueda ir avanzando en lo que yo termino. Yo igual estoy aquí.
ver el, les, les digo el mío. Vale, perfecto. Ok, eh, eh. The company is dedicated the customer service in automation. Different job are careers all in the in the new department uh, and uh, drive programmation control boards. So okay. Well, John, I describe my company uh, that uh, provide credit cards and credit to person and companies. Ok. Ya pasamos todo. No, ya faltan, solo hay que una consulta. No era de contextual. Teníamos que primero describir la empresa, después tenemos que describir el área donde trabajamos y después creo que cómo nos comunicamos en la empresa, creo, ¿verdad? Sí, la hora. Mm, vaya, ahorita. Pero solo termino la última pregunta, ya lo voy a decir. Vaya, eh, um, yo trabajo en Acapo de RL. Dice, my company is a financial service. Mm, my company is a large company with eight agencias in the country. It celebrates important days, for example, Christmas, I work in the accounting areas. I do the accounting for two agencies, the Santa Rosa and Gotera agencies. I communicate um, with agencies via email. I was it. Ah, bueno. Ah, pues ya pasamos todo, vea. Yo creo que... Vaya, voy yo. Ok. Um... Vaya, aquí me pregunta. Permítame, permítame. How do you describe your company to an another? Okay, volunteers. Mm -hmm. Anybody wants to participate? Hi. Hi. Lo que pasa es que cuando entramos a sala, pues cada quien empezó a, a redactar lo que hacen mm -hmm. en la empresa. ¿va? Pero al final no los alcanzó el tiempo y nadie discutió nada. <risa> Nobody express. <risa> ok. Well, you can do it now. Like, 
the company I work for dedicates to providing financial service. The, uh, the area of expertise is financial um, service, right? So in general, como que une todas las preguntas, pero dando como una sola conclusión. Exact, exacto, así uh -huh. lo tenía. All right, eh, go ahead. Sí. Bueno, pero no se va así. Compártalo ahí. Compártalo con todos ahorita. Ok, ok, ok. ¿Inicio ya? Uh -huh. Ok. I work in a saving and credit financial company and I work as a accounting supervisor and the communication we have in the areas is mostly mostly with the different departments of the company or the or the agencies with which we have which are eight in total they their pardon daily daily we solving accounting problem uh, the company has payment and sending remittance to different agents. We also have payment for the most common service, clear subsidy, payment services, express point, and the payment, a payment from the Ministry of Finance, etc. A lot of financial services. Yeah. Nice. Very good. Anybody else? Any ones? Someone else? Mm -hmm. No more. <laughs> All I right. Somebody? Me. Go. <laughs> uh, Alts or only one? As you wish. Uh, mm, the second. Mm -hmm. Well, um, in my case, mm -hmm. uh, the area of expertise in my company it's about of uh, technology area, mm -hmm. how to improve that or how to sell or building our pieces uh, for different works. For example, when you can uh, PC about of uh, gaming or uh, graphics cards. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's so different for different type of work. So, so you kind of tailor and yep. ensemble for the specific purposes, PCs. Yes. Wow. So how long does it take? Uh round of um four or five four. years. Four or five days. I worked that uh, round of uh, you four, have been working four, in that company for years. four or five years. Yeah. Yeah, but imagine if somebody but, requests a, a PC for gaming, how long does it take to be ensembled? Now, now around of three or two hours. Two or three hours. Yep. All right, interesting. So the customer waits or you send the final product? I send the final product. Mm, nice. Interesting. Maybe one of these days a request. <laughs> I don't have money yeah. to buy any specific <laughs> I just have a laptop and that's all I know <laughs> I don't even know if what the laptop has all right okay. so <laughs> okay there are some examples okay of these concepts that you might find in the conversation or the contents that we're going to be developing later Number one is manufacturer. Number two is head headquarters. Number three, industrial classification. Four, branches. And five, company operations. So we have textile manufacturers, textiles. Manufacturers, manufacturer. In the same in Spanish, right? 
So what is English? <laughs> the example is English corporativo has its headquarters in San Salvador. Headquarters is la oficina central, es el, el, digamos, la casa matriz. Okay. The industrial classification, the industrial classification of Coca-Cola is soft drinks in other beverages. Branches, when this has 32 branches all over El Salvador. Son como todas la, las sucursales. Company's operation is, is operating in Central and South America. Actually, Nestle operates everywhere in the world, <laughs> in most countries, I guess. Okay. So these are just some examples of how to use those vocabulary. This is a conversation that is in the manual. I'm going to share it for the manual so that you can get more familiar with that because it's a lot easier. Okay. So this is what it looks like on your manual. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. At a seminar, remember that we are talking about these two people attending a seminar. Is it easy for you to socialize at those events? How do you usually break the ice? At a seminar, Ricky or Rick and Jack. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex. Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. So headquarters, the place where the companies or the organization has its main offices. And branches, a shop or office representing large company or organization in a particular area. So as I was saying, the vocabulary that I was explaining at the beginning will help you understand this conversation better. Okay, take one minute to read the conversation and then we are going to practice, of course, Si tienen alguna duda, if you have any doubts, any question regarding vocabulary or pronunciation, you can ask now. Okay? I'm going to read it one more time. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And what are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Questions? Raise your hand. Or is clear? Teacher? Yes? Repeat manufacturing. Come on. Manufacturing. Manufacturing. Como going to yes, I wanna say manufacturing. Yeah, we have three manufacturing branches in the country. Anything else? Anybody else? Packaging. Packaging. Acuerdo to the package. Uh -huh. Packaging yeah. companies. Para empacar. Package. Packaging companies. Anyone else? No? Packaging. Package. 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 Packaging. Packaging. Mm -hmm. No more? Well, we're going to practice with a partner and then what two questions would you ask Rick to continue the conversation? ¿Qué otras preguntas dos más le harían a Rick, para seguir conociendo de, de su company. Practice the expanded conversation with a partner, okay? So, también pueden practicar como los definitions, the headquarters and branches, all right? So, let me see. I'm going to start the same breakout rooms.
Vamos a ver. Sí. Vamos a seguir la secuencia. Por ejemplo, si consultamos cuántos empleados tiene. ¿Por qué dice que tiene tres manufactureras? Quiero ver. Por ejemplo, si usamos esa, de, por ejemplo, cuántos empleados tiene la compañía y que le responda el siguiente, digamos, como que tiene 100 empleados. No sé sí. si le parece. Por ejemplo, la interrogante que quedaría de la forma how many employees does the company have y por así decirlo has 100 employees 100 empleados mm -hmm. sí podemos continuar la conversación Entonces ya le dice Cerebro, le dice está en Panamá. ¿no? no le escucho muy bien, Imelda. Es que al final le dice dónde está la sede y le contesta que están en Panamá. Ajá. Ajá. Sería como continuar. Sería continuar. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, entonces, entonces sería eh, dónde está la sede principal. Pero está ahí le, el Rick. Creo que pregunta. Sí, el Rick pregunta y el Jack le responde que está en Panamá. O que le pregunte ¿Ah? dónde están las otras sedes también. Sí, no, le dice dónde está la sede. Le dice. Ajá, sí, le dice que la sede está. Pero, pero, pero... Eh, también podemos preguntar así como con cuántos empleados cuenta cada serie o en total, en total. cuántos con cuántos empleados tiene la, la compañía vaya este eh, inicio yo si querés Bye. Bye. This uh, my name is Fritz. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex Inex have many brushes? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Esa me cuesta, fíjate. Headquarters. 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 No sé si otros compañeros otro compañero van a practicar. Y de ahí nos intercalamos. Uh -huh. Bye. La otra puede ser. ¿Cuántos empleados tiene la sede? Por ah, sede. No puede ser la otra. Uh 
porque sería what department are they located in? ¿Cuántos empleados tiene cada una de las sedes? How many employees? How many employees? The budget has. Uh -huh. Okay. Lo más eh. Okay. Ajá, eso significa lo de headquarters. Headquarters. Okay. Eh. Okay. Vamos Podemos a... preguntarle a, a Rick que what is your your area work, donde trabaja, en qué área trabaja, porque no dice, solo ah. dice que es la empresa, ¿verdad? What, what does uh -huh. he do, Jack? Y ahí le pregunta, ¿verdad? We manufacture cardboard uh -huh. box o Voy a anotar la en el chat. What does ¿Cuál dijo que era? Um, ¿A qué se dedicaba? ¿Cuál era la área que se dedicaba? Eh, Rick. The area. What ¿Cómo se pregunta? Area? What is your area? Dice eh, um, eh, Your area? Yes. Mm. Tell me. How do you say? Um, ¿Qué área trabaja? What does is area? Um, what area do you work okay. for? Okay. What area do you work for? Do you work? Are you step? For, um, mm -hmm. What area do you work for? Uh, thank you, teacher. Uh, number two. Um, okay. What are you experts? Experience. Manufacturing branch in the country and where are the headwaters they are in panama how many employees does the company have 100 employees who who all who all is the company ah yes eso ahora con cuál era imelda Imelda, Imelda, tenía... Ya, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ok, entonces voy a comenzar yo, Imelda, para que... Ah, no, usted comience. Ah, ya comienzo. Ajá, usted comience. Hola. Hola, hola. Usted comienza, Imelda. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am I am Jack. I work for Inex in. Uh, what that Inex in do? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing chain. Packing chain company. Oh. Packing. <laughs> packing. Yo creo que era packing chain. Packing. 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 Okay. Oh, I think that many brands. Yes, it does. 
We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And what are the headquarters? There is, there is in Panama. How many employees does the company? Has a, has a hundred employees. How old is the company? Five years. Okay. Ahí estamos, compañero. Seguimos practicando nosotros. Me gusta. Ok. Okay. Yeah, everybody is back. Okay, nice. We just get this conversation. Let's see. Do you remember the two questions that you added? Las dos posibles preguntas que le podrían agregar a la conversation. Me, uh, uh, the first, I I choose, uh, do you have a uh, uh, delivery of, uh, around the world uh, mm -hmm. about your product? Okay, do you have delivery of your product around the world? And the, other and the second, uh, how many, no, how many employees are in your company? How many employees are in your company? All right, nice. Anybody else? Two more questions.
Mm -hmm. Two more questions that you could add to this conversation. Anyone else? Uh, what department are they looking to in? Can you repeat it? Uh, what department are they located in? Okay, what department are they located in? Uh -huh. uh, how many employees age of the Bridget House Hospital? Okay, how many employees does the branch or do the branches have? All right, good. Anyone else? Any other? There were four groups, so at least four participations. Mm -hmm. So we already got, yeah, Brian and Elvin, and you were both in the in the same in the same room, right? From room number one, we got David, Hector, Imelda, Joanna, and Miguel Angel. Anyone from the first group? Hello? Hi. Can you repeat the chat, please? Just say the two questions that you possibly add to the conversation. The two questions that you would ask Rick. Thank you. How many employees do you work in the company? Mm -hmm. um, how many sucres are um, branches. Branches. branches? How many the branches have? Uh, mm -hmm. does the company have? All right, very good. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yes, nice. From the number two, the Deborah, Jocelyn, Laura, and Wilmer. Okay. All right, go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <clears throat> Pero, wait, 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 Ah, pues, ah, pues después. Later. Tengo una pregunta. Uh -huh. eh, do you have other branches out of the country? Do you have branches out of the country? Uh -huh. Who is in charge of the supervising the old operation? Who is in charge of supervising the operation? All right, nice. Very good. Okay. And the last group, Gracia, Ivan, Natalia, Ricardo. Anybody representing this group? Um, number one, mm -hmm. uh, what area do you work for? What area do you work for? And uh, number two, how many year have you been working in the company? How many employees are working in the company? Could be. Yeah, sure. Nice. Good job. Very good. I sometimes lose the reactions from this. It's this one. Okay. All right. Now, make a list of three companies with branches in your country and the location of its headquarters. Oh my God. 
Para el caso, yo pienso que podrían elegir empresas norteamericanas, que sabemos que los headquarters están en Estados Unidos. Ahí solo sería de googlear si a ustedes quieren ser como más específico y decir en qué estado. Yes. For example, KFC. <laughs> Let's start with the restaurant. <laughs> oh, fast food restaurant. KFC, it's a company, the headquarters, ¿dónde creen que esté? Y para encontrarlo, simplemente le dicen al buscador, where is the headquarters of the KFC? O háganlo con Google. ¿Dónde creen que están los headquarters de Google? Todo el mundo sabe eso. Uh -huh. Malls. In the mall? Si escriben la empresa Google, ¿dónde están los headquarters de Google? En California. Exacto. Ah, los de technology tienen que saber sí o sí. <laughs> <laughs> you must know. Bueno, para el caso, si no supieran, simplemente escriben en Google, where are the headquarters of Google? <laughs> How ironic. <laughs> The headquarters of Google. It's so funny. I have a friend who works for Google. So I can't remember. Mountain View, California, Silicon Valley, is a corporate headquarters complex of Google and its parent its parent company. Oof. Y ahí está todo el mundo de la tecnología. Va, ahí escriban las tres compañías que ustedes quieran. Y digan si hay branches in the country. Yo creo que es branches. Como tal, Google no creo que tenga aquí en El Salvador. Bueno, hace poco que, que andaban ahí, o que busqué, que no sé qué, que Google es un país. Pero we don't know anything yet. Pero puede ser otra compañía, no necesariamente Google. Ajá. Me avisan cuando los tengan. Please. Teacher. Yes. I really don't clear to what the meaning of uh, branches. Branches. Branches son como... Para el caso, algunas mini companies, no, multinational son sucursales. But in this case, like Google, Branches es como otras oficinas regionales podrían ser. Mm, mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Yeah, exactamente. It says a branch office is an outlet of a company or more generally an organization that in life a subsidiary does not constitute a separate legal entity while being physically separated from the organization's main office. No es una empresa separada, es la misma empresa, pero son físicamente si están en otro espacio. Okay, finish. Anyone? Alguien quiere terminar? Sí. 
so uh, um, it's about of all uh, type of companies or only small companies. Any type of company. Okay. <laughs> well, I think I finished, but I tried to 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 do this exercise. All right. So you can share with your partner. We're gonna make groups. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Colombia. Colombia. O sea, como number one, eh, the company, eh, Banco Agrícola. Sí. Ok. Eh, Brainship. Um, Centroamérica y Sudamérica. Ok. Ok. Centroamérica. M. Suramérica. Sí. En Suramérica. Ok. Eh, Nike. Esa parecía de que... Ah, luego quiero ver... En Tokio. También. Sí. Ok. No, no, no. La de Nike era en, en Oregon, me salió a mí. Ok. Eh, um... Ah, como number two, eh, the company. Mm, no sé si sugiero la de, la de Nike o, o la otra que mencionó, eh, Joana. La ¿Qué? otra era, por ejemplo, que yo tenía era Kentucky. Kentucky. ¿The branches? Esa, fíjate que yo le, le dejé una respuesta generalizada, como most of the world, porque casi en todo el mundo hay. Sí. <ríe> hay Kentucky y Nike. Sí. Yeah. Yeah, sí. Um, yeah, headquarters. Y esa es de Kentucky, USA. Ajá, uh -huh, pero ¿cuál es la casa matriz? 
Está en Kentucky. Sí. Okay. Entonces, como número dos, ¿verdad? Pongamos la de Kentucky y pongamos eh, The Branches, eh, como que en todo el, ¿verdad? Todo el, todo el mundo. Ok, sí. ok. ¿Alguna otra que usted tenga idea? La más común, creo yo, la de. También la de. ¿Cómo se llama? No me acuerdo si de esta empresa. ¿A qué se dedica más o menos? También está Payless. Pero hay que saber cuál es la, la casa matriz. Es que eso estoy, estoy analizándola porque tiene que tenemos que tener la casa matriz. Bueno, por ejemplo, Payless, ¿dónde tiene la casa matriz? Okay. En Kansas, dice, Estados Unidos. Kansas. Uh -huh. Kansas, Estados Unidos. You say. You say. Branches. También todo el mundo. Sí. <ríe> <ríe> todo el mundo encontramos zapatos. <ríe> okay. Tenemos ahí las tres, por cualquier cosa. Ok, eh, entonces el número one, Banco Agrícola, Company, Branch Central America en Sudamérica, Square, mm -hmm. Colombia, Number Two, Kentucky, Branch, eh, eh, sería, como habíamos puesto los Branch y todo el mundo. Sí, Most of oh. the World. Most of the World, eh, Square, Kentucky. Um, eh, number three, Payless, eh, Barenshi, Mother the Wars, His Quarter, eh, Kamsa, United States. Uh -huh. Ok, Mother the Wars. O sea, entonces, si tengamos lo, los cuatro, ¿Sí? no sé qué opina Elvin. Eh, perdón. De opinión. Perdón, perdón, yo hice tres diferentes. Eh, porque en compañía puse Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla. Eh, en Bridget eh, puse Australia, Bélgica. Eh, Hotworth, eh, Redmond, Washington. Amazon, eh, Bridget, México, Brasil. Eh, Hotworth, eh, Arlington, Washington, Virginia. Eh, Tesla, eh, Bridget, China. Y Alemania son los únicos dos que están fuera del país de Estados Unidos. Eh, de Tesla. Y en eh, Headquarters, Front, California. Fre Fremont, California. Wow, usted tocó en tres grandes. Por mí está bien, que ha sido ese tipo de, de respuesta. Wow. Sí, se fue muy arriba. <ríe> Excelente, excelente. Eh, está bien, yo digo que él que eh, quede ahí con esas tres usted, ¿verdad? Y por okay. lo menos dejemos las tres que hemos tocado. Y así que cualquiera de los dos, de los cuatro, ¿verdad? Eh, ya tenemos eh, respuestas. Ajá, ya tenemos ideas, ya tenemos respuestas. Ok. Ah, ahí está la teacher. Teacher. Hello. Tell me. Eh, ¿Está bien así como lo hemos formulado? O... Yeah, fine. Yeah. Yes. Okay. No problem. Okay, thank you.
All right. Anybody wants to give an example? Mm -hmm. ¿Alguno de los ejemplos que escribieron? ¿Alguien quiere compartir? ¿Someone? Hi, Miss. Hi. Vaya, eh, yo, yo puse tres compañías. Yes. Eh, companies, Microsoft, mm -hmm. Amazon, eh, Tesla. Mm -hmm. eh, branches eh, de Microsoft, Australia, Bélgica. Mm -hmm. Headquarters, eh, Redmond, Washington. Washington. Yeah. Amazon, uh, Bridges, Mexico, Brazil, uh -huh. Edward, Arlington, Washington, uh -huh. and Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. Uh, Tesla, Bridges, China, y uh, Alemania. China and Germany. Yeah, China and Germany. Alemania. Uh -huh. uh, Edward, Fremont, California. California. All right, very good. Someone else? For two points? Ah. <laughs> no. For two points, me. <laughs> uh -huh. Really for two points. You don't now, need well, I uh, for my my companies are uh, JBL, Logitech, mm -hmm. and Riot Games. Mm -hmm. The first it's JBL. He created about uh different technology about of sounds, mm -hmm. and and uh the the branches it's all around the world mm -hmm. and the second it's uh logitech uh they create a lot of a lot out of peripherals for different technologies and uh, the branches it's all around the world <laughs> and branches. In many countries. Mm -hmm. And final, the uh, Riot Games. Mm -hmm. And the branches, it's only one in USA. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's about of game. Mm -hmm. and do you know where the headquarters are? Uh, the headquarters, I think that it's... Uh, Video, uh, create a video game. So, mm -hmm. but the location, the location, it's it's one on USA. It's uh, I think that it's uh Georgia, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know really uh, mm -hmm. exactly. All right, nice. Okay, well, let's move on. Yeah, we just did this conversation. Okay, this is an exercise you also have in the manual. So let me show you from the manual how it looks, what it looks like. It looks just like this, okay? So match the products or services to the corresponding industry type. So for example, banks. A qué tipo de industria pertenece a los bancos? Easy, PC, fine. <laughs> Number one is the finance industry. Ya se lo dan resuelto, so no excuses. Yes, yeah, see. The soft drinks, guided tours, cardboard boxes, building, mobile phones, medicines, car components, 
hair salon services, clothes, the beauty and personal care industry, the construction industry, the textile industry, the telecommunications industry, the finances industry, the automobile industry, the packaging industry, the beverage industry, the tourism industry, and the pharmaceutical industry. That's fancy, right? No? Super easy. Sort of get the numbers. I'm going to give you five minutes. In five minutes, Laura said, you do it.
All right. Tell me. Okay. Banks belong to the finance finance industry. So soft drinks. I don't have a soft drink. Mm -hmm. The beverage. beverage industry, right? Okay, beverage industry. Guided tours. Letter I. Mm -hmm. Tourism. Tourism. Tourism industry. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Cardboard boxes. The packaging industry. Packaging industry number four buildings, the construction industry, the construction industry. This is number five. five yes. yes, all right. Mm -hmm. Mobile phones, the communication industry. Telecommunications, right? So this would be number six. Telecommunications industry. Medicine. The pharmaceutical industry. Pharmaceutical, right? So this would be number seven. Mm -hmm. Car components. The automotive industry. Automobile. So that would be number eight. Yeah. All right. Hair salon services. The beauty and personal care industry. Beauty and personal care. And clothes. Uh, textile. Textile. That's how you Textile. 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 Okay. Textile, all right, industry. Yeah. Correct, everybody? Yes. Good. Good, good, good. All correct. All right. Okay. So, one second, please. We're going to delete because otherwise we are not able to continue. Give me one second. Mm hmm. Write a sentence to describe the expertise in the industrial classification of the business below. Refresh and leave. So refresh and leave with distributes of three. We are in the beverage industry. Fix and care, enjoy and travel, business bank, and the sun resort. Taking into consideration this one, let me just... Traten de pensar cómo armar la oración, pero I'm going to show you. I think I'm going to show you. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got this done already. Aquí les muestra al inicio. Okay, so fix and care. ¿De qué industria creen que sea? Esta de la que acabamos de completar. Any idea? Cuidado de la piel. <laughs> Could be skin, skin care. Or hair. Hair care. Mm -hmm. But according to the example I got, it's about automobile. Could be 
Please take care with your car components. We are in the automobile industry. It could be like you get your car fixed. Enjoy and travel. What kind of industry? Mm -hmm. Is this not possible? Justo de la que acabamos de ver. Yes. Which one? Mm -hmm. Tourism. Tourism. Tourism, definitely, right? Yeah, with all vacation tours, we are in the tourism industry. Business bank. Uh-huh. <laughs> finance finance industry right so we sell bank services we're in the finance industry the sun resort mm -hmm. sounds to me like the same one like the tourism right Mm -hmm. With vacation packages, we are in the tourism industry, so they are repeated. Okay. Attendance one more time. Anna, Brian, David, here, Deborah, Doris, Elvis. Oh, sorry, Elvin. Okay, Elvin, este día le corresponde su sesión de one on one. Ready? Okay. Okay, Ready. <laughs> gracias. Present, good evening. Good, 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 good night. night. Actually, yeah. Good night. <laughs> yeah, Hector. Present teacher, Imelda, good night. Imelda, good night. Iván. Jonathan. Present. Good night. Good night. Joanna. Present. Good night. Jocelyn. Good night. Laura. Present. Good night. Maria Irma. Miguel Angel. Nelson. Good night. Good night. Paula. Present teacher, good night. All right, good night. Ricardo. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Wendy. Present teacher. Good night. Wilmer. Good night, teacher. Good night. Okay, nos quedamos con Elvin. Only. Everybody, good night. See you tomorrow. Una, una pequeña incógnita eh, lo sí. que se vio el día viernes donde del lo que envío de los cuadritos que están eso quiero hacer pero no le entiendo eh. ah vaya ahorita le digo ese era un repaso de la de la unidad 1 que habíamos visto durante la semana pero déjenme ver ah, okay. si sí, las actividades yo no eh, estuve presente sí no no se preocupe pero sí, en el repaso, vaya. Okay. Es el prim la primera imagen. Yes, eh, dice que... Complete the sentence. Okay. Yes. Vaya, si el objeto es singular, va a escribir is. Si es plural, va a escribir are. Y si está hablando de este mismo, pues am, ¿verdad? Y nada más identificar el verb to be. Por ejemplo, el primero de test es una, es una cosa nada más, es un objeto. Entonces, va a decir, the test is prepared by the teacher. Yes. Water cans son latas de agua. Entonces, ahí sería are. Water cans are carried by the attendants. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
the license es un, un objeto nada más. Entonces, is. The license is checked by the police. My cars is in plural, so my cars are repaired by the mechanic. Okay. The program, singular or plural? Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. Solo es la, la pequeña incógnita. Sí, es que estábamos identificando nada más la estructura del pase, pues, pero a ese nivel, pues, tendría que ser así, a nivel súper básico. Y okay. luego eso, el siguiente, el crossword puzzle, ahí le daban las, ah, era de los valores de las empresas y ahí le daban las, las clubs, las pistas okay. y las que van hacia abajo son las de down y las que van de izquierda a derecha son across. Across, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Being faithful to your friends, family and principles significa being Loyal, loyalty, tener lealtad. The belief that something or someone should be, should not be harmed, treated rudely. O sea, en la convicción de saber que nadie debe ser maltratado o maltratado, tratado mal o maltratado. Eso sería. Yo creo que tenían respect. Okay, rest. Mm -hmm. Doing something well and effectively without wasting time or money or energy. So efficiency. El, 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 practicar la eficiencia. The introduction of new idea, methods, or inventions, innovation. Being honest and fair and behaving according to the moral principles that you believe. Integrity. Y luego las que van a ser ya, being good at leading a group organization or country, so leadership, and the quality of being dependable. Mm. I don't remember that one. The ability to understand how someone feels because you can imagine what it is like to be them, etc. Empathy, arriving of being done at exact time that has been arranged. That's the punctuality and the quality of being fair and trust, trustful. I don't remember that one either. Okay. Yes, but I'll put the reliable. There is a Va, y la, el, el otro cuadrito era, ¿cuáles de estas cualidades se refieren a cualidades personales? Sí, which word means belonging a particular person, que le pertenece a alguien. Y personal, con I, es que se refiere al personal de una empresa. Ok. Al uh -huh, staff. So, who is responsible for the personnel at the plant? Porque está hablando del staff. Does the marketing manager have a personal assistant? Ahí sería con A. It is necessary to train more for the high season personal. Con E. Y para la, para la temporada alta. Please don't bring your personal problems to the office. Con A. Y la otra, the personal of the workshop need new uniforms. Ajá, el personal de la, de la workshop, como de la... Del taller necesita nuevo uniforme. Okay. Eso fue lo que vimos y prácticamente era un repaso. Ah, Así okay. que don't worry. Don't worry. Ok, yes. Miss, thank you. Any other thing? ¿Algo más con lo que le pueda apoyar? Solamente, Miss. Eso era okay. todo lo que me No problem, then. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. bye.